So when the sun starts to come out, Idahoans start to hit the waterways. Some are certainly safer than others. Dangers that could be due to swift currents or dirty water. Polluted water specifically has gotten the attention of the Snake River Waterkeeper. It's a nonprofit that created a swim guide on their website. It shows you where Idaho waters are clean and safe and also waterways you should avoid. But their focus now is aimed in Grandview, which is just near Simplot's feedlot along the Snake River. Snake River waterkeepers say the feedlot is polluting the river and it's a violation of the Clean Water Act. Andrew Bartline learned they're now filing a lawsuit. It's a two cattle guard cross leading up to an aptly named Grand View. That's where the mountains overlook a feedlot operation operated by Simplot and abutting the Snake River, a waterway known for premier recreation upstream. Rafting, fishing, um, swimming, that sort of thing. Buck Ryan founded the Snake River Water Keepers. Well, I love that part of the river. I want the river down here to be, to have the same kind of recreational values and, and the same kind of uh, hype and excitement around it. But it's not and buck pins part of the problem on pollution produced by cattle. There are a lot of them. It's hallmarked by Simplot's Grandview feedlot. It caps out at 150,000 heads. We filed our complaint just yesterday um, against Simplot in the federal court here in Boise. The lawsuit says Simplot's stockyard produces nearly 50,000 tons of manure each year. Rain and snow runoff push manure pollutants into streams and canals. It all feeds into the nearby snake. And right now the facility does not hold a permit to pollute a drop of any pollutant into the river. And so the outward message to the public is that they are a zero discharge facility, meaning they contain all of that manure that's produced, uh, millions of pounds a day potentially. It's too many cattle on too small a piece of land for that to be possible. By not having a permit, the lawsuit says Simplot is violating the Clean Water Act and have been continuously for more than five years. If they have the permit, all of a sudden they have to actually monitor and report exactly what they're discharging from their facility. And that's critical. Right now they can do anything they want and the public is unaware of and unable to find out through records requests what is happening to the river. Simplot says they cannot comment on pending legal matters. However, they write the 208 in an email, quote, the Snake River has served as a backdrop for our operations in southern Idaho for more than 90 years. It provides important water and nutrients for not only our farms and ranches, but also for many of our farming partners and a number of communities where we operate and our employees call home. And that's actually where both sides agree. So it's given a lot to me and it's sort of a way of giving back. But Buck's concerned about what's ahead. Because these cattle guards, they don't stop the runoff. We're just going to be poisoning ourselves for the future because that's where our drinking water comes from. The lawsuit further details samples taken upstream from the feedlot and downstream from the feedlot. It compares them. They say th the river shows high levels of E. coli downstream from that feedlot. The lawsuit also says, Brian, that every day that uh, this is violated, it's like $64,000 in fines. That's hmm. from the Clean Water Act. Well, five years, 60 days later, that's like a $120 million lawsuit. So it's a very sizable, very sizable sum. It is, and I can imagine Simplot's not really too keen on talking about it right now. Yeah, they said they're not going to talk about pending legal matters. Yep. They know the details, they're aware of it. Um, but yeah, they gave us that brief statement there. All right. Thank you very much, Andrew.